stop right there. I spoke to you both in the dressing room. I obey my command at all times. You both know the rules. Watch the heads, keep the punches up. And when I shout break, you break clean. And remember, defend yourself at all times. Shake hands. And there's a lively old atmosphere in here tonight. Josh Warrington might just be uh, one of the best ticket sellers in British boxing as well. Brought a lot of support in his home city. A fast rising rapidly improving potential star of British boxing Josh Warrington what's he gonna do against one of the real established good solid old pros of the game in Martin Lindsay well the last time he met a real good solid old pro he retired him Randall Monroe just couldn't deal with him he's deceptive isn't he Jim because whilst nobody looks at his power and say he's a real KO artist he's not he has a very very good motor He's very accurate, and he just keeps going at you. Nice couple of body shots dug in early. Yeah, and he sets a pace which can take it out of the other guy and set him up for a stoppage. Now, Martin Lindsay is a real classy operator, but the classy guys like a little bit of time, so they like to control the pace. They don't want a buzz saw coming at them from the other corner. So it's up to, to Warrington uh, not to allow that to happen. You can see Lindsay already trying to claim the centre of the ring, trying to push this little fellow back, control the pace. It's early days, but uh, in a good response already from Warrington. Thinking his way in, he's a very intelligent guy. I think everyone knows the story about a graduate of Leeds University, which is about a five minute walk from here in dental technology. So he's got a career there if this boxing thing doesn't work out. The boxing's threatening to take over at the moment. Already the Commonwealth champion could be British champion tonight. He's looking nice and sharp, Warrington. I'm just wondering, can Lindsay match the enthusiasm that he carries into the ring? This is good stuff from Warrington. That's what he wants to do, a little raiding tactics. Don't lead single punches, he's such a clever operator. If you're going to go to work, you know, burst in there with three and four punches, and that's what he's been doing. Yep, right back on to him, that's clever. No, his defences are good too. I was just about to say that, Jim, that was one thing we haven't talked about. He's very good at blocking punches on gloves and arms. And just slipping out of the way. Lindsay looking to try and go to work there. And not sure how much success he had, there was some flailing fists, but what got through? No, he walked on to a left hook as well, which just changed his mind, I think. As I say, it's early days, we don't know, as I said, a pattern, but uh, Warrington's clever, he's finding in little bursts, answering everything that's coming his way, tried and looking nice and sharp. Tried a couple of hooks there that did not connect, but Lindsay having trouble with the radar at the moment. Yeah, Lindsay's setting himself as though he's a power puncher, but she's not really, so Lindsay should really be looking for speed. You know, okay, quick punches as opposed to powerful punches. Now, well, I've liked uh, so far what Warrington's done in the open up. Bob Adjusaf, one of the few big successes from this city over the years. Probably Crawford Ashley, the best. Henry Wharton boxed out of York, but was born in Leeds. Carl Johansson, British champion, but probably the biggest name to come out of Leeds in boxing terms. Nicola Adams, the Olympic gold medalist. It's astonishing when you look at what Manchester, Liverpool and Sheffield, to name but three nearby cities have produced in terms of professional boxing, that Leeds has produced so little that Warrington looking to uh, lead a new charge here against uh, Martin Lindsay by claiming the British title. Lindsay we know is tough as well because he was second best so often against Lee Selby but Selby couldn't get rid of him. 
you know, Nick, if I'm honest, I don't know that Selby tried to get rid of him. I think Selby just hit a little level and started enjoying himself that night. It was a beautiful performance. But it did say a lot to, for Lindsay to hang on in there because it was a punishing night for him. He's given this a real go, but he's not quite matching the sharpness of Warrington. That's going to be his problems here. Lindsay out of range again. He did learn while, while you were talking, Jimmy. Got a nice body shot in that last round, left to the body, but his successes have been a bit thin on the ground. Oh, went for a big, high, swinging right hand from a low crouch, and Warrington wasn't bothered with that at all and launched an assault of his own. You know, these are perfect tactics from Warrington. When he goes to work, it's not a single shot. It's, you know, it's a double jab there, as you saw, and he puts punches together. This is what you do against the older, experienced guy who's looking to set traps. Throw single punches, you'll take a left hook counter. Double treble up, it's not there. Sharp again, Warrington got a right hand in and you know, couldn't follow it up though because Lindsay was uh, taking evasive action again. I like the variety, the angles that he finds, Warrington. Slipped an uppercut in the middle of that as well. And too often, Lindsay's coming second in these exchanges. And over the 12 round distance, stamina is so important. Target body shot. That really was. Little dip at the knees, just for a moment. And he's marked under the left eye as well, Lindsay. So I was just about to say, stamina is important. And you don't build stamina when you're in and out of this business. Now, well, it's looking too hot for Lindsay. He really is sinking in these body shots. And all this talk about Josh Warrington not being a puncher. <laughs> well, he doesn't look feather fisted in there, does he? And I don't think Martin Lindsay would say he can't punch either. Softening his man up here, Lindsay regrouping, gets a nice left hook to the body in of his own there. The former champion. Well, Lindsay did answer a question there, but you know, if you don't fancy this business, you would have taken a sickener. But now he's firing back. He's in second place at the moment. He's given it what he's got. Yeah, he's rallied well here. That was a little storm that Warrington blew up, and Lindsay stuck with it. Take your time. You hear that? Yeah. What I'm going to say to you now, I want you to listen very carefully. I want you to drop the second jab. Because you're holding out on jab. I want real good stick. Now, some hurtful punches there from Warrington. Terrific body shot. And as you get older and you're not in the gym all, all your life, it's the, you know, the midriff, you don't toughen up down there the way you used to do when you spent your life in the gymnasium. So those body shots hurt the older you get. Now the damage to the, it's the right eye, I think I said the left in all the excitement, but it's the right eye that, uh, that is bothering Martin Lindsay. But, as I said, Jim, and you endorsed that, he rallied very well, and uh, he showed a lot of heart against Lee Selby. Whether you're right about Selby just in sitting back and enjoying it, he could have broken Lindsay's heart, but Lindsay wasn't going to give it up in front of his home crowd. He's got to find something different here. A little uh, success there. Warrington looking just to sort of bully him if he could. See, reflexes are so important to, to Martin Lindsay, you know, split seconds, just pulling away from the leading punch back with the counter. And the older you get, it's, uh, the harder it is to time these moves. Warrington getting the jab in, looking to sink in the body shot there. I think Lindsay just blocked that one off. But clearly targeting the body here, Warrington. And just backing up, looking to draw Lindsay in, and uh, Lindsay said, all right, I'll have that. I think Lindsay realises he needs a round here, he needs to win a round, he's going to have to try and get one. Blocking those jabs of Warrington's Lindsay, but not firing much back as uh, Warrington's doing a decent blocking job there as well. And then they do open up Lindsay getting through with the left hand, but there was a big cheer as Warrington threw punches as well. That looks a decent left hand from Lindsay. And again, there's the punches that just come in from all kinds of angles from Warrington. Now, a big 
driver from Lindsay here trying to take the centre of the ring, trying to, to initiate the attacks. He's using what he has. But uh, Warrington, for his lack of experience, is coping with everything well. Nice response again from Warrington. Terrific counters. I just feel Warrington has the edge. You know, Lindsay, a real effort here in this round, but not making an impression on the young fellow. Again, he, he, he raids, I think you used that, that word earlier, he, he raids so effectively with that speed and sharpness, Warrington. Throws his punches and gets out of town. Yeah, and Lindsay's the one who's been countered, Lindsay's the one making mistakes, reaching with punches and being punished for it. Now, this is good stuff from Warrington yeah. here. You can hear those punches going in. And I wanted to bring counters. Pick your shots. Tell me what he's asking you from there. Yeah, We're happy with he's you, son. He's with his head down. Do we have Bring it when he's there. We're happy yeah. with you. We don't have to chase him. He's coming well, to you. You heard it, Mike. The old veteran Frank Hopkins saying, we're happy with you. Lot to be happy about. You happy with him, Jim? Yeah, but I think so, and uh, Martin told a little bit of a face. He knows things are not going the way we'd like them to go. Still has a lot to offer. He's still going to turn things around if he can, but he knows uh, this is not the start he was hoping for. He's able to manoeuvre Warrington at times, but not able to take advantage of it. Both looking to try and draw each other in here. Lindsay again struggling with his range. See, so it's having the last word in almost all of the exchanges. And that's, uh, that's the sending out the message. That's a good little burst from Warrington once again, and that is the difference. Because when Warrington throws, the accuracy is there. When Lindsay's throwing, he's really struggling with accuracy. And there's just so much life about what Warrington is doing. He's buzzing, you know, he's full of the business. And the switch right hook to the body. Well, Lindsay's coming forward but just not able to capitalise on anything at the moment, really. He's going to start running out of ideas here soon, Lindsay, because everything he's trying is getting matched and countered. And this is not his normal style. I mean, Lindsay was always shrewd, cute, clever, punished mistakes. But he's having to go looking for Warrington because he doesn't have the reflexes to do it the way he used to do. I mean, he, this is tough. Again, this is a, tough for him. It was a single body shot got through. He, he's not throwing combinations. He certainly isn't landing combinations. He's not making any impression on Warrington whatsoever. Body shot there as well from Warrington. It's just, as I say, a little buzz about Warrington. Warrington again. Just being a tough target for Lindsay to connect with. And any success, that. any success he does have, you know, it's just taken away from him straight away. Well, that is the trouble, isn't it, Jim? Because when he does land, Warrington brings back a combination immediately. I mean, Lindsay's driving himself forward, but not making any impression. And a lot of fresh air shots here for Martin Lindsay. That's bad. And Warrington loading up again in the last few seconds of the round. Another good body shot sunk in there, left hand, and again, Lindsay swinging and missing badly. He made Randall Monroe look like an old man. He's making Martin Lindsay look like an old man tonight. Four rounds done of this 12-rounder for Warrington's Commonwealth title and the vacant British featherweight title. Four good rounds if you're a Josh Warrington supporter, and there are many of those packed into this arena, and not sitting down either, standing room only. 
in the upstairs seats. I mean, Warrington shows plenty of target around the ribcage with his hands and his elbows so high, but uh, Lindsay's not quick enough to get close and get the punches off. Just can't get close, and as soon as he comes into punching range, punches come flying at him. That was better. Yep, Lindsay putting punches together himself. And Warrington looking just to re-establish his superiority. A couple of right hooks. And just getting through the guard of Lindsay consistently here as well. And as you say, Jim, Lindsay continuing to just come after him. Hook to the body. And there's no real snap or venom in, in Lindsay's punches, you know, the, even his punching is a little bit forced. Ah, it's tough when you're in with these young pups who are just firing in all cylinders. Nothing doing there with the double hook from Warrington. Taking a bit of a breather here, the Leeds man. Yeah, a lot of success here from Lindsay. Needs to try to build on it, though. Well, he's definitely dipping the work rate in this round, Warrington. I wonder if Lindsay can find an extra gear here. Well, getting the body shot home as well, Lindsay. And well, then getting one back as well. Well, a big effort from Lindsay in this round. I think this is as good a round as he's had. Surprised at Warrington, the work rate has dropped. A little, little burst and flurry, but there's not the flying boxing that we're seeing from him. He's picking shots here, but the tempo has dropped. Well, a big drive from Lindsay. I wonder how much is taken out of the tank. He's done well in this round. Oh. That one was low. I'm looking at Lindsay, and uh, he started to grow some confidence at the end of that round. That was not a good round for Josh Warrington. Bring one up in uh, bang on that. Super. Well, it's too early to be taking a breather with a couple of titles on the line, but uh, I don't know if Warrington took a breather or if just the play was taken away from him by Martin Lindsay. I think it's the latter. I think Lindsay realised he needed a big round and he went out determined to have one, and he did. And they weren't too concerned in the Warrington corner either. But he put a lot into that last round, Martin Lindsay. This is going to be an interesting round. Is that going to be the start of a Lindsay comeback here? Or is Warrington going to make a couple of adjustments and put the Irishman back in his place? Round six. I'd be advising Warrington to take the fight to Lindsay, get the punches off quick as opposed to trying to counter. Because Lindsay certainly took the initiative in the previous round. I think Warrington's trying to stand his ground now. Better from Lindsay defensively. And again. That body shot got picked up on the, uh, on the, on the arm. This is, this is not bad defensively from uh, Martin Lindsay at all, and he got through with a straight left there. Warrington is doing exactly what you said, Jim. He's looking to try and up the up the ante a little bit here as they trade body shots. Yeah, well, you want a hot tempo. You know, the, the, the shrewd guys, like Lindsay, especially his time in his career, he wants to dictate the pace, he wants a nice, steady pace. 
up to Warrington to raise it. Some good body good shot. Stuff. Nice right to the body there. Lindsay's swelling under the left eye now as well. It's nowhere near as bad as the right, but there is a little bit of damage there. Lindsay's body shot was blocked off. And Warrington definitely stepping up the heat here a little bit in round six. Yeah, Warrington looks in charge again here. Digging in that right to the body again, and Lindsay looked to get a left to the to the midsection. Well, as I say, there's plenty of target, you know, the, the way Warrington lifts his elbows up. But Lindsay hasn't been able to get close enough to capitalise on that. Yeah, the head's banging. A little warning there. Nothing sinister in it. Uh, I think I was a warning to both guys, just both went in with the head low. Uh, turning into a bit of a slugfest in there at the moment as they go toe to toe. Try and break each other up. Yeah, I think it's uh, the pendulum swung back to, to Warrington again in this round. He's been that little bit busier. Telegraph that right hand, Lindsay saw it coming. <laughs> the long walk back to his corner for Martin Lindsay. How do you feel? How do you feel? Can you get the first? Can be first. Come on, suck it in. Get the legs out straight. The legs out straight. Can we can be first? Come on, suck it in, you're not being big deep person. Hunt them down, man. Didn't we think about it? Oh, yeah. Well, a bit of damage all around as we look at the numbers, which would confirm what we feel about this one, that Warrington is just landing a lot more than Martin Lindsay. Uh, last, Lindsay's getting both eyes looked at. A bit of work needed on the right eye of Josh Warrington now. Yeah, well, uh, Warrington was wise enough not to allow Lindsay to have two good rounds on the turn. Regained the initiative in the sixth round. Seconds out, round seven. Halfway through, then, this double title fight. Commonwealth and British, vacant British featherweight belts on the line. Well, Jim, there's the confirmation of uh, how you've been reading it. Yeah, Warrington got off to a flyer. Lindsay started trying to, to peg things back. We'll see if he can do it. He's given himself a bit of a mountain to climb. Has to get down to work now. And Warrington thinking his way in. Lindsay almost standing there as if to say, come on then. Make your mistake, I'll get you. Got the gloves up nice and high there. Yeah, Warrington might have been busier in that last round, but overall, since round five, his success rate, Jim, for me, has, has dropped significantly from how he started the first four. No, I think as the pace maybe slows a little bit, uh, it's giving Lindsay a chance to be more effective. You know, he, he couldn't he live with the pace in the first three rounds or so. A He's right. a little bit more comfortable now. And there was a good right to the body there in that exchange. Yeah, he's up in he's up in the work rate again here, Warrington. And Lindsay looking to try and be clever and cagey. See if there's anything he can capitalise on. Doing a better job of looking after himself, Lindsay, but I don't know he's doing enough to be winning these rounds. And Warrington. And that's the head again. Yeah. That was Warrington that time, though. Warrington. Again, that need to be careful of the heads. No. See, Lindsay's walking into range and not letting punches go. And then Warrington showed some slick moves as well, although then Lindsay got out of range. <laughs> right hook to the body's been there for him all night, Warrington. I mean, this is what Warrington should be doing, even at the cost of a couple of real tough rounds. He'll take it out of Lindsay's oh, tag, that's good. Lindsay's sticking it to him now. 
And then Lindsay going right into a shell. Can Warrington break through here? Big cheers going on, but Lindsay is doing a great job defensively of making no target of himself. That got the crowd excited, but Lindsay covered up very effectively there. But this is the taste that Warrington wants to be fighting that. Lindsay doesn't want this kind of taste. And he doesn't want to be weathering too many of those storms because something eventually will break through. Yeah, that was a big attack from Warrington. That was impressive. And even though that big attack wasn't scoring spectacularly, it just reinforced that perception that Lindsay was bossing that round. And it's starting to look pretty bleak here now for Martin Lindsay. Yeah, that was an impressive burst. It's as though he suddenly realised that the pace was wrong. Martin Lindsay had uh, dragged the pace down to suit him. But uh, Warrington just exploded into life. OK, as you see, a lot of the punches were missing, but the impression was made. And any doubts about which way you were scoring that round, well, the doubts were wiped away. Terrific. And... Uh, Lindsay with his experience he knew to cover up to let a punch go now and again in case the referee panicked but uh, that was an important round round eight round eight you can make a strong case for Martin Lindsay winning the fifth you can't make much of a case for him winning much more than that so let's see if Warrington can keep that pace going See if the 32-year-old legs of Martin Lindsay will stay with it. Nice work with the left jab, Warrington, and again. This is good. Well, if he can out jab Martin Lindsay. That's a bit of an accomplishment. That would do a lot for his case. Since he got in a body shot, but again, just look at the, the volume and accuracy. It's coming right back from Warrington here. See, as Warrington moves forward, Lindsay's crouching into a little shell. You know, a defensive shell, and he, he's just giving the initiative there. He's, he's doing it there, at least to let a shot go there. And a right hand upstairs from Lindsay as well. Continues the body assault, and Lindsay continues to try and make a small target. Get the gloves up, keeping the upper body moving. And Warrington's putting a lot of effort into these exchanges, and there wasn't much going on. And sensibly, he just stopped and regrouped. Lindsay's showing his veteran experience. that Lindsay had Warrington come storming back at him. That's it, isn't it? He just negates it. Every time Lindsay tries to build something, got a platform going, Warrington just rips it away from him. Nice switch upstairs there to finish off with from Warrington. And as I said earlier, not too many Leeds champions. This is in the house tonight. Just looking over to my left, Matthew Macklin is with us as well. Oh, I saw Darren Barker earlier, an ex world champion these days. Midweek boxing, a bit of a novelty about it. Now, round nine. Martin Lindsay 
if he's going to get anything out of this. Needs to find a plan C. Because plan A isn't working, plan B is not worked. What else can he do? I mean, he's had success in every round, uh, Lindsay, as you'd expect, a man of his talents and experience. But he's never really been able to take charge. And his cheerleaders are certainly happy with what they've seen so far. Lindsay getting out of range. Lawrence just regrouping again, showing some patience. Coming from Lindsay at the moment. That's better, good right hand. Well, he's not been able to discourage Warrington at all. Apart from that fifth round when he looked to try and boss it a little bit. He's never troubled Warrington. And the Leeds man just pecking away at the body. Once again, out of range with the finish there, but it's just too much coming from Warrington for Lindsay to deal with here. So that's Lindsay again, you know, that little shell like manoeuvre. He walks up into bunching range, puts his hands up, his chin down, but doesn't do anything. So maybe just struggling to find the range in this round, Lindsay. Good work from Warrington. Non-existent in this round. He's concentrating on blocking and making Warrington miss. There's very little offensively coming from the Belfast man. Body shot there, but Warrington all over him at the moment. I mean, this is the pace that Warrington should be boxing up. And he's getting through with some big shots here, and Lindsay in trouble again. And then just covering up, tying up, getting close, riding that little storm out. But the gulf between them is just getting wider and wider. And Lindsay throwing punches but missing badly now as well. Body shot coming in there as well. That's momentum, that is not a knockdown. Taken over by, the, by his own punch. But a sign that also that Lindsay is starting to tire badly. Yeah, and breathing with the mouth wide open there, Lindsay. That was a tough round for him. There's not much left there. Yeah, he's struggling. He really is. Warrington's all over him now. As the stats confirming it, it's it's turning into a rout. Yeah. Wider and wider there. They were speaking to him in the corner there, uh, Lindsay. I wonder maybe if they were asking him uh, did they want out of there, but it's still going on. They're still trying to revive him. And that was a big round for Warrington, but that's the pace he should be fighting at. Maybe not three minutes around, but when he goes to work, you know, burst the raiding tactics we talked about early. Because Lindsay cannot live with that pace. And I tell you what, Ian John Lewis, the referee, spent the entire minute in the neutral corner looking at Martin Lindsay, almost, I think, as if he was expecting to get called in. Martin Lindsay doesn't have much left. Round 10, two more after this. A long, long way behind the former British champion. Warrington bossing him now. As indeed he has been for most of the fight, it has to be said. See, I think boxing's so tough a game, Nick, it has to be your life. And the Martin's dipped in and out over the last couple of years, and it's difficult to get yourself in the condition that's required, you know, even at British title level. Which is a good point about Josh Warrington. I mean, if, if he carries on like this, he's going to be British champion in the next few minutes. How long can he keep the day job? British and Commonwealth champion. How, how long? before he has to give it up and devote himself full-time, because this boxing gig of his is working out pretty well at the moment. Well, I mean, I like to see young fighters working, then the money they're making they can save, they can build a future. I mean, he's not digging ditches, I don't think it's uh, hard work he does. Oh, no, this is good. It really is, pouring it on again, and Lindsay 
trying to fight his way out of his own corner. Oh, he's a brave, tough man, Martin Lindsay, isn't he? And yeah, who can blame him? Showing some veteran survival skills there. But Warrington senses there might be another finish here. Lindsay just loading up with everything he's got. And Warrington just blocking those punches on his gloves. But that's a fighting man putting his pride on display there. It really Full is. Full credit to Martin Lindsay, that was terrific. Just trying to turn things around. Sometimes it's difficult to understand fighters. Well, there never were any questions about Martin Lindsay's heart. And there aren't going to be after this one. But it's a hard, hard night for him once again. Body shots. Yeah, and, and he's been there all night for, for, for Warrington, you know, he just wh whips in that right hand downstairs. But at this stage, in such a tough fight, they really sap what you have left. That was painful. Last 30 seconds of round 10. The gulf between them getting bigger and bigger. And Warrington still cleverly dodging and blocking shots, not taking any silly risks. Paying attention to the defensive side of his game. He's got this man where he wants him, and he knows it. That right to the body again. Lindsay's eaten those endlessly tonight. It's another gutsy, gutsy effort from the one-time British champion. Again, like we saw in the Gavin McDonald Josh Whale fight. You stick a Lonsdale belt on the line, it's amazing what it does to a boxer. Well, I mean, full credit to Lindsay, he's kept it competitive all the way through, but always been in second place. One more after this, round 11. Warrington, the defending Commonwealth champion, on course to add the British title to his collection. Snaps gone out of his punches and they're telegraphed and they're slow and Warrington's dealing with them easily. Yeah, I think it's a kind of damage limitation from Martin Lindsay now, you know, just uh, circle, watch what's coming at him, just deal with it. His corner were telling him he needed the stoppage, I think he realised that a few rounds ago. Oh, got a little left hook in there, Lindsay. A rare moment of success for him. You don't look through Martin Lindsay's card and see too many stoppages, do you, down the years? And he's not going to want another one here. And Lindsay not going grandstanding and looking for the big finish either, just pacing himself still. He's realised that he's got an opponent that's very proud and very, very brave. And he's just taking it steady now. Still letting the punches go, the gum shield gum spins out. out. And they both had a neutral corner there as Lindsay is eventually sent back to his own corner. They just clean that off. Just winding down this fight, isn't it, Jim? I mean, there's such an inevitability about it. Left hook to the body from Lindsay. Will Warrington yet look to try and step it up again and see if he can get him out of there? He's tried it two or three times, and Lindsay's not for going. No, as I said, damage limitation for Martin Lindsay now. You know, he's just you know cutting down the punches he has to take. I think he realizes it's a lost cause. He doesn't have the power to get Warrington out of there. So just looking forward to the final bell. Big swinging right hand from Warrington, again blocking off Lindsay's return fire. And 
and just physically dominating him now. Warrington, Lindsay with some more tired swinging punches, desperation stuff from Martin Lindsay, but if one of them lands, you never know, but he looks in real trouble again. Yeah, I think he's just using his experience there to keep close. What a struggle this is for him. Oh, it's, it's, it's almost painful to watch. Yeah, he's never at any point been so completely outclassed that you're thinking, no, this needs to be stopped. Never. He's such a tough, brave man. You have to admire what he's put himself through tonight. I mean, it's a tough level to, to come back at. Uh, and you can see, you know, he's uh, just hanging on in there, just a fighter's pride. We've seen that on display so many times from him tonight. He knows what to do, but the reflexes aren't there any longer, can't accomplish it. He's moving into punching range, but not getting the punches off. And this is result. Warrington takes the initiative. Warrington acknowledging his fans, and they acknowledge him in turn. The last round, a big smile from Josh Warrington. And you won't often see that. A hug from the two fighters, who I think both know exactly what the deal is here. And I'll tell you something else, when we hear from Josh Warrington at the end of this, he will have nothing but respect for Martin Lindsay. The Commonwealth champion from Leeds two and a half minutes away from becoming British featherweight champion. I just wonder if Warrington look quite happy with what he's done or if he wanted to take it to Lindsay for a grandstand finish. I don't mean a stoppage. I just mean give the, the, the crowd one more, you know, round of excitement. What do you think of him, Jim? How much further do you think he can go? Bearing in mind he's still 23, still relatively experienced. Yeah, and, and still improving. You know, if they punched a little bit harder, it would certainly come in handy uh, as you move up through the levels, but he's done nothing wrong whatsoever. You know, he moves around nicely, he's good defensively, puts his punches together nicely, punches properly. You can always work on a little bit of punching power. So, yep. We'll give him his chance along with the rest of them. Yeah, and Lindsay's tried a few different things. He always seems to come up with the right answers. Lindsay getting out of range there, and I think Warrington, as you say, well, we thought he was going to go the distance against Samir Munemni but, uh, back in February, but suddenly the opportunity was there, and he said, well, I'll have it. He stopped him. But Munemni, we later heard, had a, had a broken hand as well and was absolutely out on his feet. I don't think he's going to be getting rid of Martin Lindsay. No, it's a quiet final round. I think it's a, a round which says the job's done. Both men just heading towards the final bell. And Martin Lindsay will walk out of this arena as he walked in with pride and with respect. But he will not be walking out of it with a Lonsdale belt. Good body shots, nice switch upstairs again, a little flourish in the last 30-odd seconds from Josh Warrington. Well, Lindsay's probably done, you know, given as good as he's got in the last round here. But uh, just seeing the job out yeah. like a true old pro. And the fans have got this one right, the chance of easy, easy. I'm afraid that one sums it up, that about sums it up. It has been too easy for Josh Warrington tonight. Take nothing away from Martin Lindsay, who's put everything he's got into this one. Warrington too young, too quick, too good. And every single person in this arena, including Martin Lindsay, knows exactly who the winner of that one is. No, well, there's no question Josh Warrington's a young man with a bright future. He can sell tickets, which is a promoter's dream. And he's going to grow from here. I mean, you can see the, you know, the, the stats there. 149 landed against 68. I mean, a massive, a landslide victory. But full credit to Martin Lindsay for the part he played in a very entertaining 12-rounder. 
But it's obviously congratulations to Josh Warrington becoming a double champion, British and Commonwealth. And putting Leeds on the map as well, joining Bob Adjisa in the championship ranks. Adding his name to uh, that short list of British champions from Leeds. And really just... I wouldn't even say it was a wobble in that fifth round, it wasn't. It was just Lindsay trying something different and it took him a while to get used to it, but it was a near shutout for Medium, as close as you can get. Yeah, I just gave Lindsay one round and a sheer shot. He deserved a sheer of the last because I think both were just seeing the job out. I think Warrington knew, as we all do here, the job was done. So just put in a little bit of a boxing exhibition. It was a clear-cut victory, but it was entertaining all the way through. There was always something happening. The referee didn't need to get involved too often. Not too many clinches or untidy stuff. Nice 12-round boxing match. Uh, nice to see just there Josh Warrington looked at his fans, looked at Martin Lindsay and pointed at him and said, give him a bit of applause too, and they did. Because Martin Lindsay deserved that. Touch of class there from Josh Warrington. I think we're just about ready. The RMC has got the results. Let's uh, make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, you have really created an amazing atmosphere here in Leeds tonight. We're so very pleased that all the contests have lived up to your expectations. So one more time, we look at the judges' scorecards. And the three scoring judges have scored this 119, 110, 119, 110, 119, 110. All three judges are in favour of... And a new British following champion and still the Commonwealth champion, Josh! And just look at what that means to him as well. No question about well, those cards. Appreciation. Everybody saw this one the right way. A round of applause Lindsay. for Martin Lindsay. He deserves that. But Josh and Warrington, Commonwealth champion when he came in, now British champion as well. That magic moment for all British boxers. The Lonsdale belt around the waist. A moment, whatever is to come for Josh Warrington, he will never, ever forget. Let's hear it. Josh Warrington, British and Commonwealth featherweight champion.